I'm Jake Kwan, and I joined CrowdStrike as a threat advisor after spending uh, 13 years uh, working in support of the Department of Defense. Uh, while there, I worked on various portfolios to include cyber threat analysis uh, and supply chain risk management, which made it an easy transition to support our customers here at CrowdStrike. Um, the purpose of this series is to add a spin up uh, to our threat intelligence and get you the information that you need. Um, it is a condensed version of our full briefing, uh, but we hope that you enjoy this brain break and uh, creative art series. Um, we're going to have a quick chat today with the artist, uh, Robert Bruno. Um, Robert, thank you for joining us. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Oh, my pleasure. Happy to uh, be back for this series. Um, my name is Robert Bruno. I am a commercial illustrator. Um, I work largely within the entertainment and sports industries. And uh, this has kind of been a, a welcomed bit of a change of pace, but also in a way uh, very similar to uh, some of the fictional characters that I often depict. Today, we're highlighting uh, one of the actors in our adversary universe uh, known as Cozy Bear uh, because of their cyber attacks uh, against multiple target industries um, that included government, uh, aerospace, finance, uh, energy, tech, and uh, pharmaceuticals. Um, the name comes from the fact that uh, we know that they're of Russian origin and are likely acting on behalf of the Russian Foreign Intelligence Service, known as the SBR. Um, they are similar to the CIA here in the United States. Uh, these actors are known for being uh, very persistent, uh, and one of the key behaviors that we've observed um, is that they will reestablish uh, their presence in target networks uh, where they've previously lost control. Um, this, along with uh, you know, employing tradecraft or, in other parlance, uh, the spycraft, uh, that looks like it's influenced by traditional human intelligence tradecraft uh, gives us reasonable confidence that they're well resourced uh, and have the backing of a government intelligence service. Um, so with that, Robert, as you were drawing Cozy Bear, uh, what elements of the threat actor did you decide to integrate into the drawing and why? Yeah, so based on the brief I was given, um, you know, it seemed like the main, I guess, attack point that this uh, adversary focuses on is like hacking and interfering with uh, data um, and manipulating data um, through hacking. So I just tried to make it include kind of like this stealthy, like covert, almost like spy narrative, um, both with the palette, the positioning, kind of the, the gloomy, shadowy nature of the, um, the adversary. And then as I kind of used elements, uh, additional elements in the foreground and the background with all of these illustrations, um, I just thought of like what they would be going after with, you know, numbers, our markets, uh, critical and sensitive information. Uh, so I just tried to represent that as best as I could um, with simple elements like the numbers and, you know, something like a, a stock ticker showing a, a massive fallout. Um, uh, yeah, so far that that's kind of uh, what I was kind of working in to uh, make this overall illustration. Yeah, and this is a really cool piece. I mean, I, I really do like the uh, the dark uh, working in the shadows. I mean, it really fits that uh, that intelligence uh, type of flavor um, that this actor has. Um, so within our space, um, you know, just for uh, the viewers there, you know, Russian actors they've proven quite capable, um, and they've even been able to break out and uh, make lateral movement into networks uh, in just over about 18 minutes, uh, which is significantly faster than most adversaries we've observed uh, that tend to take several hours. Um, and this particular actor is also suspected of having involvement recently uh, in the sunburst and sunspot attacks, uh, which hit the news last December, um, while also using uh, other techniques on their uh, more uh, more day-to-day uh, -day type attack activity. Uh, in terms of leveraging things like PowerShell loaders, uh, Polyglot Duke, and Mimi Cats, uh, basically establishing backdoors uh, in order to and to es exploit their targets. Um, so, Robert, given all of this, uh, can you think of any similarities to other villains or um, you know past actors that uh, you've worked with as you did this project on Cozy Bear? Yeah. So, you know, with all of the the pop culture comics, um, you know, villains and film in actual comics uh, television. You, you typically have your, uh, you know, brute force, like physical strength villain, and then you have your psychological villain. Um, so in my estimation, this represents all of that psychological type class, like behind the shadows, um, you know, just some recent ones we've seen. You had the Joker um, in Batman, just kind of manipulating everything and like kind of pulling the strings almost like a puppet. Um, what came to mind in the Marvel universe 
although now its narrative has shifted a bit, but in the Civil War film, you had this character, Baron Zemo, who knew he couldn't match the, the strength of the heroes, so he was just trying to manipulate everything behind the scenes. Um, and I think this is very representative of just that psychological, uh, kind of like shadowy nature of a lot of villains and adversaries we see right now. Which is very interesting you mentioned that, considering that we've seen a lot of uh, basically other nation states uh, take it to uh, what they, they'll call the gray space um, and uh, basically try to exploit uh, the asymmetric advantages in this respect because they can't go toe to toe with uh, you know other nations or maybe it's too costly to do so. Hey, this has been a great conversation. Um, awesome. So, uh, you know, unfortunately, we do have to wrap up uh, despite Cozy Bear being such an interesting target uh, due to the sophisticated uh, targeting of its various critical industries and the uh, complexities that are there within its own uh, exploits that they use uh, along with their uh, tactics and techniques. Um, so thank you for watching. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed this break uh, to talk about an adversary and watch some great art taking place. Uh, make sure to check out the other pieces uh, that have been created that help us highlight the adversaries targeting uh, government and other commercial and academic institutions. Um, for a personalized briefing or one-on-one -on -one meeting, please do not hesitate to reach out to a nearby CrowdStriker and they'll help you get to the right team.